Hi guys, it's Shalonda. I'm here with another crafty video. Um, I have recently, well, okay, not recently. This month, I am, you haven't seen that much of me in my hauls because first I was thinking about um, not doing hauls anymore, but um, I have had one or more of my subscribers mention the fact that they like my haul videos. So I thought you guys were getting tired of them. So I kind of slowed down on them because I can be like a little bit over the top with shopping. But, um, yeah. So, I mean, not as bad as some other people, <laughs> I'm sure. But, um, I can be crazy. So, uh, yeah. Anyhow, I had a couple of people contact me and say that they actually like or that I mentioned it to. And they said they actually like my, um, haul videos. So, I'm going to continue to do it. Um, but anyhow, um, this month, like I said, the month of April, I'm on a no spending zone. Um, and I am, let's call it the spending diet. Um, I am not really allowed to stop foot in Michael's <laughs> this month. We said nothing about any other stores, but I've been being good. I haven't been to anyone but Hobby Lobby. And that's because my daughter had one of her friends over this yesterday. And she wanted to um, go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's or Walmart or something. And Hobby Lobby was closest, so we went there. And I actually did spend like 10 bucks. Um, and I kind of felt bad about it, but then again, I don't. Because compared to what I usually do, $10 was nothing. Um, and I think in the beginning of the month, I might have spent like $5 on some stamps or something that I wanted on the scrapyard. So, you know, all in all, it's been under 20 bucks. That I spent but anyways so I said look I have all these bags I've been doing like this whole reorganizing thing in my room and guys excuse me I don't have any makeup on or anything and that's just not like me to jump on camera like that but oh well um I have been doing this organizing rearranging thing in my room and when um, Michael's had those sales on their storage containers with the extra 20% off coupon and then the 60% off or whatever, I stocked up and got a whole bunch of containers. So they're all lined up behind me over here. Um, so I have to fill those and I've been kind of taking stuff from the room, putting it in there. And then I also have been thinking about these six bags or more that are sitting here full of stuff. So I said, you know what, since I can't shop, let me just do a bag or two a week or something to get through the month and because a lot of times I forget what I got or what I bought inside the bags so I just have them sitting here and I'm slowly trying to get through them and I guess I'll show share those hauls with you guys so anyhow I um, went to the antique mall thrift store um, and the dollar store and this is the stuff that I got I'm gonna try to go pretty fast because it's like my second time trying to record this so anyways I ended up getting these um, like pearls from the antique mall. I got it in that color. I got them in this blue and yeah, there's a true color of it. I got it in that blue. I got it in gold and I got them in this color. Okay. And then, um, I ended up getting these two necklaces. I don't know. They're not vintage. I don't think at all, but, um, I ended up getting them because I thought I could use the beads on something. And one is like a light mm, mm, baby pink and white. And then the other one is like white. So I ended up getting that. I ended up getting this metal, like brass, like door hangy, knocky thing. I don't know. But I just can picture myself painting it white and using it on a project or on a box. Um, I got these doilies for a dollar. Um, got this one, this one, uh -uh. this one, and this one. And these were all a dollar, um, but most of the booths that I went to anyway had to have some kind of sale or something going on. Then I got these like uh, oval beads. I got these like uh, sherbet orange. -y. Uh, coral looking beads. I got four bundles of these from the antique mall because I want to try to find a way to store 
some of my shorter, like, by the yard laces. Um, so I got that. And then I got this cute little rotary foam that is actually a pencil sharpener. And, of course, somebody got a hold of it. And there was, like, a little foam that probably fits, like, on there like this. And it's cute and it looks so real and it looks so like old fashioned and it's really heavy. It's like brass like this. And I don't know. I know I saw it somewhere sticking somewhere. Hopefully I'll find it. But yeah, the kids just get to everything and that just is what happens. So I don't know. I need to invent a kid trap or something for this area. <laughs> Nothing harmful, but something that'll keep them out of here. And then this jar of, um, this was a dollar on sale of, uh, like old keys. And then this jar was empty. And then here's another jar of the keys. Okay. I ended up getting this from the antique mall and it's a birdhouse. But when you turn it to the side, it's open. So, <laughs> um, I thought this would be so cute to make like a little scene in there with the bird and nest and stuff like that um i ended up getting these four bowls like this from the dollar store and i was thinking when i'm they're plastic but i was thinking when i'm making something that has something to do with beads or something that need to be separated it would be cute to have these over here um i ended up getting these vintage style spools i mean they're in pretty good condition for them to be vintage spools um but I guess they, I mean, I don't know if they're just vintage style or if they're actually vintage bobbins. But I wanted them, and they were $1.50, and so I just got them. Um, I got this bag of buttons, and there's some very unique, there was like different jars, like a big jar for $5, big jar for $10. But I thought this was like the most eccentric bag. So I ended up getting these, and I think it was $2 for this bag, which wasn't bad, because there's a lot of buttons in here that are, like, really different. Okay, um, here's just, like, a little bag that I got that was $1.50 and had this stuff in it. Um, two sets of pearls. Um, these earrings. This little metal. Thingy. I don't know what in the world that is. Um, you had a pair of earrings like this, and I'm just going to show you one of the pairs. So I have to go find all of them. And then this teardrop earring with the flower. There was a bracelet in there, pearl bracelet. There was this thing here. And I'll probably have to paint that because it's starting to tarnish. There was the earrings like this. There's another one over here. Um, oh, and I like the back, how, how the detail on the back is. I thought that was neat. This. This hairpin, which I think is just fabulous. I really like that. And then these earrings here. I don't know what I can do with those, but... I kind of want to leave it hanging like that. I think they're cute. And then I got these mirrors from the dollar store. Um, they're like silver and they're just little hand mirrors. That um, I don't know if you guys want to look for these. I wanted to alter a hand mirror for a long time. So when I seen these, I grabbed like six of them. Um, if you guys want to know, um, they didn't have them at one of my, my dollar stores or Dollar Trees, but they had them in another one. So the barcode is, is 6392-7761-3738. If you ladies want to look online or something and see if you guys have them. And out the front looks like that. I don't really want to show because it's kind of messy in here. So the front looks like that, and that's that. And matter of fact, I have one here that I've already just sold because I want to make something shabby chic. And I need to finish gessoing it, but just so you can get the idea of what it looks like. There. Okay, I'm going to do a part two, um, so I'll be right back. Oh, and I'm going to link the part two in the bottom of this video. Hopefully, if I know how to do that. Um, 
But yeah, 10 minutes is too long, so I'm going to go ahead and come back with the rest.